It sometimes seems as if the whole world is on the move. John Airy, 1946 Since the 17th century, new technologies have been emerging that have enabled people, objects, and ideas to move around the world more easily than before. British sociologist John Airy advises that the consequences of this increase in global mobility demand that the social sciences develop a new paradigm for the study of how goods, people, and ideas circulate. For Airy this movement creates new identities, cultures, and networks, giving rise to cultural diversity, economic opportunities and, at times, new forms of social inequality. Systems and Mobilities Uri's primary contribution to the study of globalization is his focus on the social systems that facilitate movement. The 20th century, in particular, saw the emergence of cars, telephones, air power, high-speed trains, communications satellites, networked computers, and so on. These interconnecting mobility systems are the dynamic heart of globalization, says Uri. He argues that the study of mobilities makes apparent the impacts and consequences of globalization. Likewise, the study of the forces preventing mobility, immobilities is essential for comprehending contemporary social exclusion and inequality. By understanding this global flow, sociology can better explore globalization's social and environmental advantages and costs such as economic growth or industrial pollutants, as well as the forces driving social change. Being physically mobile has become a way of life across the globe. John Uri. In context. Focus. Mobilities. Key dates. 1830 The world's first intercity railway opens in England between Liverpool and Manchester. 1840 In Britain the first prepaid adhesive postage stamp. The Penny Black revolutionizes the circulation of information and goods. 1903 U.S. brothers Wilbur and Orville Wright make the first powered flight in North Carolina. From the 1960s telecommunications satellites go into orbit, heralding the instantaneous global transmission of information. 1989-91 British scientist Tim Berners-Lee develops the World Wide Web. 2007 British sociologist John Airy publishes Mobilities, 